We're back with Mitch Dolier, President and Chief Executive Officer of Kaneohe Ranch Company and the Harold K. L. Castle Foundation. Do you remember a time when the only thing that made it successful for you was your passion? Well, see, I think my passion helps me recruit great teams because I had a great team of players at Victoria Ward Limited. I had first Derek Wood, then Leslie Brown, and Melissa Pruce in bringing new tenants to Ward. No way I could have done that. Skill sets I didn't have and didn't have energy and time. I had Gavin Christensen who came from Hawaiian Airlines initially and then I had Jeff Dinsmore helping me on the finance side. I had a, an actually a strong team of people that were already at Victoria Ward Limited uh, that helped. And so it was, it was a matter of taking the team that I found and building that team. I think, I think the energy and enthusiasm and passion probably helped me convince people that it was okay to follow this crazy guy. Because that's, like, that's, that's one of the big questions is why would they follow? And I think passion's part of that. But I also think fun's part of it. Because I think during the time when we worked the hardest at, at Ward and in County Ohio Ranch, I think we always had fun. Are there any tips that you can give us to being an effective communicator? Because you said that's so key in relationships mm -hmm. and having a team follow you. Mm -hmm. I think the first thing in being a good communicator is being a good listener. And while you're communicating, you really need to listen when people are communicating back to you to try to see whether they understand or whether they don't and try to determine whether they believe or whether they don't. Because a lot of times, everybody be really, people in Hawaii are really nice. And sometimes even when they disagree with me, they'd be nice to me. And so it's like I had to, I had to be able to figure out by the messages I was getting whether people were being nice to me or whether they really believed. And so part of it's listening. I think listening is a lost art. I think everyone could learn to listen more. And I worry now that I don't listen enough and I don't listen well enough. So I work on myself. I have to sit on myself to make sure I'm listening. Second thing is uh, communicate a whole lot, especially in big organizations. Uh, tell them, tell them that you told them. Remind them a third time that you told them. Maybe make them say it back to you to make sure you get it. You can't, you can't, you can't over communicate in big organizations. And communication is a key to the whole thing. And then the other part of it is what are you communicating? And it, both at Ward and at County Ray Ranch and at our foundation, part of it is with your team in place, building a strategy to go forward and getting everyone to buy into the strategy and building a strategy with good suggestions that others have. You know, listen to the rest of the team well enough because nobody, nobody, you know, in any place can do it on their own. What would you say to people that are considering getting involved in the community but not really sure because they feel maybe they're too young or they're too busy in their career? Well, one of the best things in my life and my career was my involvement in community organizations because it enriches your life and gives you understandings that will help your business in ways that you're not going to get just by doing the business because whatever business you're in, you're in a silo, you're in kind of a narrow window of things, and, and that's how it is. Your whole horizon expands when you go out into the community. And I think maybe you can't understand what your passions are until you've really experienced the, rich, the richness and opportunities and challenges of community. So I would say to anyone that says, I'm too busy to get involved, I would, say, I would tell them that they're crazy because they need to reorder their priorities. Because we, we all need to give back to community or we're not gonna have the community that we have. Uh, and so many good examples here that preceded me gave back to community in so many magnificent ways. It's kind of like natural to do it too. Can you share those instances where you've seen um, people follow in your footsteps, knowing that it is important to give back? and follow like what you did? 
I mean, there are lawyers that I've seen go on. Many of my partners at Goodsill got involved in charitable activities, maybe in part because they saw partners like me getting engaged in the community and doing it and knowing that it was acceptable to do that. Uh, I mean, there's a host of younger people that get engaged in the community. I asked leadership teams at Victoria Ward and at County Ray Ranch to get engaged in community activities, not only to give back, but to expand their own horizons. I try to work on an education plan for employees that work for me or the company that I have an opportunity to lead. And it's like, okay, here's where the employee is. What are the, what are the ways to grow that employee's skills the most ways? Generally, giving an employee a leadership opportunity in the community or broadening their horizons or giving them more contacts through giving back to community is a great way to grow employees. It's also, in my view, a great way to get employees to stay in Hawaii because you can't really get to know this community without falling in love with it. And once that happens, they're lifelong Hawaiians. So would you use um, community involvement for your higher level executives, almost like their training? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think, I think it's important. And I think I would wonder about an employee that wasn't concerned about community and wasn't interested in giving back. But no, I, think it's, well, I, th I just think it's a great opportunity to have a lot of experiences. I think it's a great opportunity to exercise leadership, to use communication skills. Thanks for joining us today, Mitch. Hey, Evan, it was great being with both of you today. Okay. Aloha, you guys. Thanks for joining us today on Greater Good Radio. For more information or a transcript of today's show, please visit us online at greatergoodradio.com. This is your host, Evan Leong and Carrie Leong, saying please join us next time for another episode of Greater Good Radio Hawaii.